Hello all, in this video we will see how to convert character large object data from a source to binary large object data of a target. So our mapping structure will be something like this. We will have uh, one relational source. Uh, so our source will have only two columns. First will be ID that is number data type and second will be text which is of CLOB that is character large object data type. We will convert, actual conversion logic will write that in the Java transformation and our target will have again two columns first will be id same as in the source and the target and uh, second column will be text that is of binary large object data so basically we will transfer character large object to a binary large object of target using the uh, java transformation so let's start creating the mapping we'll have uh, c lob source convert c lob to b lob we'll have b lob as a target as i had said earlier we'll have only two columns id and text source will have c lob as a data type and the target will have b lob as a data type when you import source from a, uh, when you import source into an informatica uh, the data type of source definition will be source however the data type of your source qualifier will be target and by default it will take 4000 so you just query at your source if your uh, length of your source is more than 4000 then accordingly you change the uh, precision over here of your source qualifier and also of your source definition so in this case I will keep by de uh, default as 4000 and uh, our conversion log lo logic as I had said earlier we will write that in the java transformation I will create a java transformation over here convert clob to dlog uh, as we don't have to create any more records uh, we, ju we, we don't have any uh, special logic for it we just have to pass uh, incoming source as is to the uh, target definition we'll keep our java transformation as pi passive i will pass these ports to the java transformation same id will go as is to the target and text will convert that to binary so the data type of our output port will be binary we'll keep this precision as 4000 only and actual code will write in the java code tab output port equal to input port dot get bytes so this inbuilt java function get bytes will actually convert character data to the bytes and those bytes will assign to our output port will compile this code java code got compiled successfully will connect this binary port to our target definition mapping is in valid state we will create the workflow open the workflow before running the source and target uh, before running the workflow we will check the data in the source this is our source clob source we have one record over here and in the target we don't have any records right now we'll verify the source definition again so if you see here first id column is of number data type and our text second column text file is of clob data type and we have one record in our source that is uh, id is one and text text records in target we don't have any record we'll run the workflow now we'll check the connections also once again 
connections are fine when you run the workflow now mapping will get fail If you see here, source qualifier return one record. However, the same record did not got inserted at target. It's showing as the rejected record. We'll see the session log. So if you see here, the parallel load option is not allowed when the lo uh, loading uh, or target definition will have clob data type. So as we have clob data type or B clob data type. At a source, at a target, bulk loading will not be allowed. So we'll convert this to normal load, and we'll again run the same workflow. Now, if you see, source qualifier return one record, and same record got inserted at our target. We'll verify whether the same record got inserted or not. If you see the same record got inserted at our target. Thanks for watching this video.